What to do? Just grab onto some duck tails. Woo! Da 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 Woo! That's it. Yes! 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 Mmm. Stupid gum. Yes! Yes! Oh, I'm so relieved. I'm so freaking relieved. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's the first in the batch, too. Oh man. And it has Scrappy! <gasps> ah, yes! Oh. oh, I'm gonna cry. Alright, let's hatch the rest of the batch. Oh, oh my god. Oh, this was so many eggs. Oh my god. I'm gonna check right now, but... This was a lot of freaking eggs. This is my longest Masuda hunt. <laughs> I last updated the counter at 1,967. Let's check how many eggs I have in the PC, and then find out exactly the number. Oh my gosh. Oh, minus these four, because it was before. <laughs> it's the first of this batch. Oh. What a, what a crazy long time. I noticed it right away, too. I thought it was going to be really hard to notice, but... I mean, when you're staring at it for that long, waiting for it... It doesn't matter how subtle the shiny is, you'll you'll know. <laughs> oh. I have some leftover eggs to hatch too. Oh. No, oh, there's a the difference. The gold, the gold, cr goldish crest is what really gives it away. Yeah, it's actually not nearly as bad as I originally thought it was. Okay, let's put him in this box for now. Alright, so let's count them. 30, 60, 90, 120. And then the one. 2,088 eggs. For one Masuda Method shiny far fetched. That is. Wait, so odds are 512. 2048 is four times over odds. That is more than four times over odds. Good lord. 30 eggs left over. Exactly. Oh my, oh god, what a long hunt. Wait a minute, you're not the right one. What are you, what are you doing? There we go. You are the chosen one. Probably should keep. Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna put you guys in here for now. That's fine. Oh, this, I'm so relieved to have this over with. 
no idea. Oh, this is my party of Pokemon for catching stuff. Alright. Oh, I should probably put the um, smoke ball on. There we go. Now we can run. Let's go do an encounter. You know what? Let's encounter a Reggie Rock. <laughs> let's show let's show this guy off against a legendary. Because why not? Boom. Alright. There we have a regular Regirock. And shiny far-fetched in a beast ball. Ah, the benefits of breeding. <laughs> And we can run. And we gotta get critical hits with it to evolve it. Um, so that's a thing. I guess we can give it some levels and then fight something outside. So let's do that. 53. It should be enough. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to make this into a final gambit set. Because that's fun. Um, scrappy. You know. Choice scarf, max health, max speed. Final gambit. That's. And like major assault because. Any off chance that something has a lot of, for something like Blissey, where, you know, it has a lot of health, but not a lot of defense. Just gotta get this guy to a high enough level. Here we go. I'm gonna need to give him a Leaf Blade just for the purposes of evolving him. Because if I give him a Leak and Leaf Blade, automatic crit. Final Gambit, we need that move. Awesome. Brave Bird, don't need that. Alright, and now I'm going to give him the leak to hold. If you needed to know how to evolve, if you want to know how to evolve um, Galarian Farfetch'd, it's actually pretty simple. You just need to get a critical hit in a battle and also level up in that same battle. Um, I mean, it's a, bit, it's a bit difficult. It can be, but... I think you have to level up in that battle. I think that's how it works. Oh, that's too much. It's okay, I'm gonna keep doing it until we get him just to the point of being... Alright, so I think if I use these three S ones... Nope, that just one. That, you know, that's gonna do it. Do I have any extra small ones? No, I do not. I hopefully should be enough. I just need to get a leak. I think I have one somewhere. Um, I don't know where that would be. Am I going to be able to see it? Oh, yeah, there it is. Alright, and then we just have to find something that we can kill. Oh, look at him. Look at him. You can do it. You can do it. You got this. I should probably give him vitamins before I do that, though. Just to be safe. Because, um, I don't want him to get EVs that he doesn't need. So he's gonna get HP. Boom. He's gonna get speed. Boom. And one protein. There we go. There we go. EV trained. Boom. EV training done easy. This is what happens when you have shit tons of money. Should I do the Nido Queen? No, we're gonna go find something a little bit weaker. Alright, this thing's weak to Leaf Blade. Let's do it. Alright. So, regular Stone Jorner. Shiny Farfetch'd. Alright, and now we're going to go ahead and use Leaf Blade. So I think... Oh wait, no, we need to get... Is it? It's three critical hits in one battle. Oh crap. 
crap, I forgot about that. So I should have been using Night Slash. Well, here's the thing, maybe Night Slash won't KO it. Yep, there we go. So you need to get three critical hits in one battle. My apologies. I forgot about that. I just remembered. And now we got our third. So that's three. We got three critical hits. And leveling up. So we should be evolving here. I think. Yes, there we go. Alright, Shiny Farfetch'd is evolving. Oh, this is so exciting. Shiny Surfetch. Oh man, that looks awesome. That is just beautiful. Oh, I love the gold. We don't need iron defense, but. Oh man, such a huge lance. My golden duck! The duck hunt is over! Finally, we have the duck. Oh yes. Alright, let's let's slaughter one of these guys mercilessly. Alright, regular stone joiner. Shiny Sir Fetched in the sun. Ooh. Alright. Leaf Blade. I need to turn animations on. Wow, this thing these things are tanky. How dare you attack my duck? Yeah, you, you go ahead and be wide with your thick, stony thighs. Alright. And one more thing to do, and that is to learn Meteor Assault. I'm not sure what level Farfetch learns Meteor Assault, but... I suppose I can level him up a bit and just see if he gets it. Or maybe I already passed the level for it, I don't know. Oh, there it is. Meteor Assaults. Amazing. Alright, now I'm going to turn animations back on. Reflex on. Sound is on. It's not muted on the thingy. Alright, we're good to go. Alright, now these thing, this thing is going to feel the wrath of the far-fetched. All right, regular stone joiner, shiny sir fetched, and the signature move, meteor assaults. Are we gonna get the crit? Nope, but it's still KO. That is one of the coolest animations in the game. Just straight up one of the coolest attack animations in the game. I love it. Alright. Tiny mushroom. Here he comes. The duck is ready for battle. Amazing. Oh, I gotta name him. We gotta name our beautiful boy here. I already have the name. I have the perfect name for this Pokemon. It is a nostalgic name that not everyone may understand. But, for the friends of mine who are watching this video and get the reference, oh, you'll know. Because my friend, way back in the day, had this doll, or stuffed animal, called Sir Quackers. And we would hide him and do stuff with him, and like when we were like little kids and at one point we were arguing over him like we wanted to turn with him or something or we were I don't know we were arguing about who would got to hide him or something like we were arguing over him and we pulled on him and we tore him in half <laughs> we wrecked him and we got in so much trouble because it turns out it belonged to his older brother it wasn't even it wasn't even ours to play with in the first place so, I don't know. It's just a funny little thing. But Sir Quackers has returned. He's no longer torn in half. And he's now going to tear everyone else in half. Yes. Oh, we can't walk with him here. <laughs> but, anyway. Thank you all for watching. Sir Quackers and I are going to go um, take lives and... 
Take lives, take wives, and catch a shiny red rock. That's right. In in due time. Alright. <laughs> Saving the game one more time. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy those oranges.